This tutorial will walk you through the steps on how to download the SMART software and how to use SMART lessons within Mimeo Studio. Okay, so first thing you need to do is come to this website, which is www.smarttech.com slash downloads. Once you're on this page, we are going to select a version under Smart Notebook, which is similar to your Mimeo Notebook. Okay, if you are installing the software on a PC, go ahead and select the first one for Windows. If you're installing for Mac, go ahead and select the second one. I'm installing on my PC, so I'm going to choose the first one. Once you click on the version, it's going to bring you to this page. And if you scroll down, we are just going to click the blue download button. Make sure to select yes because we do have a product key. Once you select yes, you will automatically uh, be asked to register. So just go ahead and fill that in. For the industry, I'm just going to select elementary and make sure to include your email. You can select yes or no if you want Smart to send you emails and then click on Start Download. Okay, you will see this box at the bottom of your page. We are going to go ahead and click on Run. Now, if you can't make it this far and a box keeps popping up saying you don't have enough admin rights to download the software on your computer, you can go ahead and contact Taylor Hucker with the technology department and he will get that fixed for you. Okay, so you will see this box pop up and we are going to select next. Make sure that you accept the terms and select next. You don't have to make any changes here, just go ahead and select next. Okay, and these are the selections we are going to choose. We're going to choose the notebook. We are going to choose the math tools, the 3D tools, and we're going to go ahead and select the teacher sync. We will not select Smart Response since we do not have Smart Clickers. And then just click Next. Okay, this box will pop up if you still have your browser open. So I'm just going to select OK and I'm going to close my browser. Okay, so then select Next. We are going to leave this one unchecked because we do not want to make SMART our default PDF view viewer. Go ahead and leave this unchecked. Then select Next. And this is completely up to you. You can enable or disable by unchecking. Select Next. This is only if you want to add different languages. Just go ahead and leave this empty and select Next. And then click the Install button. Now this will take anywhere from five to eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for now and return when this has 
completed. Okay, once all the components finish installing, go ahead and click on Finish. Now since we're putting this tutorial video up on the internet, I will need to block out the product key, but all you need to do is email myself or Ray and we can send you that product key. You're going to select add, after you place that product key, type that product key in there, make sure it's highlighted, and then select next. Okay, select that product key again and finish. So you might be asked a few times to enter your uh, license information or product key. Just go ahead and do it every time it asks you to do that. I've already entered ours, so I'm going to select finish. What is opening right now is a lesson that I found on the Smart Exchange. This is the Smart Exchange, which is very similar to Mimeo Connect. Okay, you can find various already made interactive lessons. And you can browse by subject, grade, file type, because they do have different files. If you look down here, this one is a Smart Notebook lesson. Okay, you might even find pictures that you can download as well. Okay, so this is the one that I've already downloaded. And if this lesson is something you want, just select download and then save it to your documents. Again, this is what it looks like when it's open within the smart software and you can use your Mimeo pen to show this lesson on your whiteboard. Now let's say you want to open it up in Mimeo. It might open up a little bit different in Mimeo than it will within the smart software. Let me show you what that would look like. Okay, so I've opened up my Mimeo notebook. I'm going to select File, Open. And what you need to do is make sure that the file type here Instead of Mimeo, we want to select Smart Notebook File. And now it shows me the notebook file. I'm going to select it and open. Okay, so you would need to kind of fix this a little bit. It doesn't even have the background color, but it has all of the everything else. So this is how it opened up in Mimeo. This is page 8. Let's see what that looks like. And Smart. So this is the Smart lesson. This is the Mimeo lesson. The only thing that is missing is the background. So little things like that you might need to fix if that bugs you. And that is how you open up and use a smart lesson within Mimeo.